Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today, I'm honestly just gonna be playing in makeup because, let's see. Um, by the time this video goes up, you'll already know about this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Um, let's see, it's like 9.30 at night and I'm just really bored and wanna play in makeup. But in the morning, I'm actually getting a boob job. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, by the time this video actually goes up, it'll already have happened. So you'll probably already know about it. But yeah, just in case, whatever. Yeah, like I was saying, I really don't know what I wanna do. Um, I wanna do something really colorful because I don't know the last time I did anything like that. <laughs> so, I'm thinking, I might use the Shanexo Remix palette. I don't know, no, I've never used this in a video because the last video I had, not the last one, but the one before that one, the Ulta haul, that was in this, okay, or this was in that, there we go. Yeah, I'm thinking, like, I know I wanna do something with the pinky colors, or like that hot pink, but, or the hot pink. I'm thinking the pink, the purple, mauvey color, golds. I don't know. We're just gonna go for it. To prime my face, I'm gonna start off with the Maybelline Baby Skin. Oh, that hurt. Y'all, last night, I hit myself in the head with a door, like the edge of a door, like the part that like goes in the threshold. And it hurt really bad, and I have a big ass, well not really, it's not big anymore, but last night it got pretty big. I had a big knot on my forehead, like, I cried for a good 20 minutes. It was a great time, let me tell you about it. So do you guys like Chris on my channel? Like, do you want to see more of him? Because, I mean, I enjoyed it. <laughs> and for my foundation, I'm going to take the Milani... 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect Foundation, and my shade is 01 Creamy Vanilla. Mm, I'm gonna take it on this paddle style brush, this Artiste. <laughs> I think this is like, uh, where did I get this? I got this brush at like, I think like TJ Maxx or something. Like I only paid like $2 for it. And then to conceal and contour, I'm gonna go in with two of the Makeup Revolution or excuse me, it's Revolution. What, what the heck did they change to? It's not Makeup Revolution anymore, is it just Revolution? Revolution Pro? I don't know. Anyways, they're, what is it? The Conceal and Define. I'm gonna contour with the shade C14 and highlight with C2. my nose was a terrible idea. Fuck. <laughs> it's fine. Nothing a little concealer can fix. Alright, we're gonna do the triangles just like everyone else. Oh my god. There's literally so much stuff I wanna do. Let's try to that shit up again. Um, I just ordered a lot of clothes 
from this app. And I've already worn some of it, but I still think I wanna do like a clothing haul because it is a lot, a lot of stuff. I'm talking like not just clothes, but like shoes, jewelry, like a lot of stuff. So I'm thinking I wanna haul that stuff, but we'll see. I wanna disperse. This is just like an eco tools. What the hell is this? This is not eco tools, this is real techniques. Um, let's say this is a pointed foundation brush. Whoever does their foundation with a brush this tiny is a psychopath. I've never ever used this brush for foundation. I've literally only used it for concealer, mainly up under my eyes. And that's only like if I feel like using a brush because I usually just use a beauty blender, but I don't have a beauty blender next to me. They're on over there on a dresser and I'm honestly just that lazy. It's fine. Face is breaking out y'all. Like what the hell? This is it's all the line. This is literally, I have a constellation on my face. It's fine. Dang it, I keep forgetting I have this. So I bought the Velvetizer powder a freaking long time ago. And I keep forgetting, like, to use it. I mean, like, can you set things with it? Or do you have to mix it in? So it literally just says mix, mixing medium, mix in medium. Well, we all gonna find out, cause YOLO. Ooh, it's really soft. Okay, I'm gonna do some of this in the cap. Cause like, honestly, who takes the time out of their day and really thinks about like, oh, let me mix this powder in with my freaking liquid foundation. Ooh. Ooh, this is nice. Oh my God, my under eyes feel so silky. Oh my God, it's like a baby's ass. Um, I'm just gonna set my whole face with this, it's fine. I mean, if you mix it in with your foundation, like, I don't see why I couldn't set my face with it, you know? Whatever, fuck it. Smells a little weird, but that's fine. Okay, I swear I'm gonna try this shit out like the way that you're actually supposed to use it, but until then, um, as a powder, um, initially, because obviously I haven't had it on longer than two seconds, I think it's pretty great because my face literally feels so soft. Everything is set down. I think it's nice. This is the nicest setting powder. And then this shit was literally so like, like it was talked about for like a split second, like by everybody, and then nothing like no one talks about this shit this was like important for like two weeks and that was it so yeah urban decay get your shit together i'm just kidding i love urban decay as a brand let's see i haven't used this bad boy in a while um and to powder contour because you know obviously no one just cream contours i'm gonna go in with the kevin aquan sculpting palette with the medium sculpt shade. And we're gonna take 
this itty bitty Smashbox brush, and this is, it just says contour brush. Um, this is the contour brush that comes with the Smashbox, the Trio, the powder Trio. Just so you know. Uh, excuse the no sheets on my bed. Um, they're in the dryer and my comforter is in the washing machine because hygiene, that's really important, you guys. I don't know if anyone knows that, but it is, it's very important. And the, the brush that I always use to contour my nose with, it's a full tapered shadow brush. This is an eyeshadow brush that I use to contour my nose and it works amazing, but I do want to try the brush, the JD Weighty by like, what is it? The Winky Lux brush that James Charles raves about. Um, cause yeah, I would love to try it. I'm gonna take that same small tapered fluffy brush that I powdered my face with and I'm just gonna soften those lines and bits on my schnorge. My schnage. Oh, it's a little muddy over there. Awesome. There you go. That's fine. Fuck it. For my eyebrows, I'm gonna take the MAC fluid line what the fuck is this? <laughs> gel, brow gel cream. There we go. And True Brunette. You think I would know exactly what, like, the names are exactly at this point in time? But I don't. <laughs> I still fuck them up. I just started this thing when I actually do my eyebrows now. I started. Oh, I thought I broke now. Um, I started, like, I start on the tail of it, well, kind of in the middle, like at the arch, and I'll do the tail first. So, the color is way more, like, saturated on the tail, and then I go through the front and just kind of lightly take what's left on the brush from where I did the tail. And like, I don't know. It's not like a huge, huge difference from like what my eyebrows used to look like whenever I did them. But I don't know. I need to take some concealer and clean it up obviously. But like, I feel like doing it that way, it just looks like, like not as harsh and like blocky, you know? Okay, now that my eyebrows look totally different and they look fucking massive, I'm gonna take, this is just a little, real techniques, like a teeny, teeny, teeny little concealer brush. And like I was telling Chris, I like to go in with this L'Oreal, the Infallible Total Cover Concealer Palette. And I like to take this shade right here the one that's like next to the contour shade or whatever that's the one i like to use to clean up my eyebrows why it's that one i picked i have, I have no idea it's just that's the one all right now we're gonna carve out these bad boys To cement these brows down in place, I like to take the MAC Brow Set Brow Gel. And this is just the clear one. I know mine does not look clear, <laughs> but I promise it used to be clear. I'm just a dirt bag, and I'm proud. Alright, now the eyebrows and everything are done. Whew, we gonna start on the eyes. I literally have no idea what I'm gonna do. I'm thinking I'm gonna take Bestie and 
I'm gonna start by buffing that in my crease. This is just a fluffy crease, but crease brush by a Japanese. I mean, should we try a cut crease? I'm not very good at them, but you know what? We gotta practice if we ever wanna be good at them. So uh, we might try one of those today, tonight, whatever. Okay, I'm not really being like too like neat or precise or anything with this color because I'm gonna put like some more colors in the crease. So I don't wanna lose, like this is my transition. Like I don't wanna lose this color and the rest of the colors, if that makes sense. I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm gonna go in with Baby Girl right here, the hot pink. And I'm just gonna put that in the crease. We're gonna do this very, very slowly though, considering, you know, this fucking hot pink. Focus that a little lower in the crease and then outer edge. Now I'm gonna take, this is just another small fluffy brush but the bristles are a little more dense so I can pack color in a little more. And I'm gonna go in with this purple kind of mauve shade right there. It's called Lover. Y'all, I have no idea what I'm doing. This could totally like turn out like shit. Only time will tell. I'm gonna focus this on the outer V just to add some dimension. I'm gonna go back in with the shade Lover again, like I'm gonna keep going in, but I'm gonna take a smaller brush. Just, you know, a little more precision because I want it uh, lower, I want it closer to my lash line. And I want a little more color right there on my outer corner. I think I just want, yeah, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with that first Japanese fluffy brush and back in with Bestie, which is the one that we began with. And I, we kind of lost it in translation a little bit, so I just want to add a little bit more back in. Just at the top, just to kind of, you know, help things blend, blend and blend and blend. Just like that. And then I want to take, I'm going to go in. This is another small crease brush. The only one, the the only difference between this one and the one that I just put more of that purple on with, this one just has a little more give, so it's better for um, like blending and like making everything seamless as opposed to this one that's more like a little stiff. This is more of like a smudger, and this is like detail crease. But I'm gonna take the baby girl shade again, that hot pink, and I just want to run it right in the crease right here because I want to uh, bring that back to life a little bit because we kind of lost a little bit of the vibrancy of the pink uh, in our blending. So I just want to bring that back a little bit like that. You know, we're going to go for it. Go back and go home, bitches. So, supposedly, there's like a trick that you can do. Um, I saw Soph Does Nails do this. The whole like cut crease hack trick. I don't effing know. But apparently, you can just kind of like dot concealer on your lash line like that and then look up. And apparently that's where like a good guide as to where your cut crease is actually supposed to be. So. 
Um, I mean, whatever. <laughs> Why are all my bridges dirty? All right, because I'm a lazy piece of shit. So I'm gonna take this one and just pat in the concealer. On top of that concealer, I'm gonna go in with this gold right here called Island Glow. And I guess to begin with, I'm just gonna take it on my finger and pat it in. I know it's not very precise, but you know. And then I'm gonna go in. This is like a small packer brush. This is like a tiny Smashbox brush. It came in something, in some kind of kit. Like it's not a brush that you would typically keep, but I kept it for whatever reason. Oh, well, cause I mean like the actual brush itself isn't bad, but the handle's just like shit. <laughs> I have never used this before. I have this, like, I don't even know what color it is. It's like a weird, oh shit, it's probably dried out. That's very pretty. I might use this. It's almost dried out, but it's good enough. Like, it's not too dried out. This is the Sephora Plus Pantone Universe. This one was from like a couple years ago. It's whenever the color was like that kind of mauve color. <laughs> I'm so good at explaining things, I know. Okay, now I'm gonna do the other eye really quick. And then just to kind of brighten things on my eyelids a little bit, I'm probably gonna go in with glitter later, but for right now, I'm gonna take a holy grail right there. And for starters, I'm just gonna take it on my finger and pop some right there. Just like that. And back in with that small brush, I'm gonna take leather and vampette that deep, deep, deep shade right there. And I'm gonna mix those two together. I got the excess, and this is gonna be focused. No, I'm gonna go straight in with Vampet, actually, I lied. And this is gonna go straight right on my outer corner. For my lower lash line, first I'm gonna go back in with Bestie, and that's what I'm gonna start with on my lower lash line. Then, now that we've got like a good base going, I'm gonna go and with Need You. I want more of the attention like on the top so I'm not gonna make the bottom too crazy and I'm tucking that right and like I'm not dragging it down or anything I'm not making it ridiculous I'm just going back in with that brush that only had the purple shade on it and I'm just smoking this out a little bit soften everything up and then back in with that smudger brush i'm gonna take dark horse and vampette and i'm gonna mix those together and that's gonna stay on the very outer corner just to add some depth and then i'm gonna go back in with that dome smudger brush I don't remember what colors I took. Oh, I just took the purple on them. And I'm gonna mix Stalker and Vampet. 
and I'm just going to literally just pat right here just to add the tiniest bit more of dimension. I'm going to take this brush. I don't even know what this is for exactly. Flathead Shadow. Um, I would never put eyeshadow on with this, by the way. What I like to do with this brush is I like to take a banana powder, like, preferably, I mean, sometimes I'll take like a loose one, but like I usually do a pressed one, like the one in the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. But yeah, I like to take a banana powder and I like to clean up my eyeshadow with it. It literally makes the biggest difference in my opinion. Like I'll do, I'll do my right eye right now, the one that I'm doing currently. <laughs> and then I'll show you like a side by side. Obviously, cause I won't do my other eye right now. But okay. Like, this eye, like you can see it's not perfectly clean or anything. And my eyeshadow looks way better on this eye. Anyways, I might be because I cleaned it up. But just see, like it just, literally the easiest way to sharpen up any, any eyeshadow look. Seriously, like any. Let's do some winged liner. I haven't done any of that in a minute. I decided against glitter because of that like mauve eyeliner. This is a MAC, it's a, just a liquid eyeliner pen. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I guess you guys would like to know what this freaking eyeliner looks like since I kind of never showed you. I don't know how well you can kind of see it on camera. That's what the eyeliner looks like. You can see it's kind of dried up because, you know, it's a little thick, so it wasn't super easy to work with, but I made it happen. So. Now that this is starting to dry, I'm gonna go in with this. It is a NYX glitter liner, and I'm just gonna go right over the Sephora liner. Oh, I don't know if I ever told y'all, but you know how I used to have my septum pierced um, from my nose itching all the time and stuff. I I lost I don't know how many rings doing this. But whenever I would rub my nose scratching it, I would loosen the balls up every single freaking time. And so it finally just grew up because like I got tired of putting rings back in all the time. It's like 10 something at night at this point. Chris is in the living room watching like TV. He likes to watch his shows that are like really violent and stuff that I can't handle. He likes to watch them when I'm like doing my own thing because he knows I'm a crybaby. You can't handle it. Um, I really don't know if you're supposed to put this on your eyes or not. Like if it's eye safe because this is actually um, body liner. But YOLO. Gotta do it for YouTube. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm thinking since I've got this like pink stuff going on my face or my eyes. Let's see. For blush. I'm going to go in with this MAC blush that I freaking love. It's one of my favorites, actually. Um, it's called, it's the shade Dainty, and it is a mineralized blush. I can't even open it. It's the thing. And that's what it looks like. It's just a perfect, it's like the perfect pinky blush, in my opinion. And it's not, like, it's very buildable, so you're not going to, like, accidentally ruin your look with, like, a shit ton of blush in the first go. And for my highlighter today, this is actually a limited edition one. 
It's a Becca highlighter and it's the Prismatic Amethyst. It's that like purpley, pinky. It's got like the, does this one do a chrome? I don't know. Anyways, it's really freaking pretty though. Oh. And I thought it was good. Like a good one for this since it's like pinky. Formula Organic Wear Mascara. And the lashes I'm going to be wearing today, I'm just reusing some. These are the Eyelore Faux Mink in the style Opulent. Okay, now that the lashes are on. I really like this. I have no idea what the fuck kind of lipstick I would put with this, but we're just gonna play around until I find what I like. <laughs> but for starters, we're gonna see how this looks. This is one of the Victoria's Secret Velvet Matte Lip, lip Cream Lip Stain. <laughs> there we go. You know, the video I did on these is at like 22,000 views. Help a girl out. Like, get my other videos up that far. Most of my other ones are <laughs> nowhere near that. So, come on, tell your friends, tell your mom, tell everybody, watch my shit, <laughs> like it, subscribe, whatever. I mean, or don't, like, whatever. Like, don't do it unless you want to. It's all about free will. Anyways, this is adored. But I think it needs to be pinker. This is a Jeffree Star Lip Ammunition in the shade X Supermodel. We're going to put that on top and see what happens. I like it. This is like, I don't know. It's kind of giving me like Barbie vibes, which is perfect because, um, <laughs> so. But okay guys, so that completes this look. I like it, I like it a lot. What do you guys think? It's totally like, this is so out of the box for me. Like I typically play it safe with my makeup. But I don't know, tonight I was just really like, I just wanted to play around with some color and stuff. And I really, really like how it turned out. What do you guys think? Do you like it? What do you think about like the whole like graphic glitter liner thing? Um, my eyeliner's uneven or my eyeballs are uneven. I'm not sure which one. Could be my eyeballs for all I know. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. <clears throat> I will talk to you again very soon. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.